have Her Excellency Madam Lala Rahal on board with us, and she will be uh, giving a good, uh, you can say, speech about what lessons we are getting from this global pandemic at this stage. The entire world, more than 190 countries, is actually facing the issue of from this global pandemic. Without further delay, Her Excellency Lela Rahal, you have a floor for your speech, ma'am. Please. Thank you so much for inviting me to this conference. It's my uh, privilege, and I'm glad, really, always with the Excellency Fawad and with all uh, Mr. Omar. Uh, but there is two Omar, Omar Ibrahim and the other Omar. Your Excellencies, I'm happy. All the people who are listening to this platform, so beautiful. Um, life is challenging us. Today, the world is balancing with coronavirus. People cry, people die, people sick. So that is not an issue. Life, it would not stop because of, uh, of um, some disease, which is really scary. But now we have to take the challenging side. Today, coronavirus gives us a lot of lessons. First one is our freedom, because we used to go to the mall, we used to hang around everywhere, we used to, to travel a lot, and I'm one of those travelers. Today, I'm home, but it doesn't stop me. It doesn't make me sad, it doesn't make me any depression, because I learn a lot, and we, all of us, learning to stay home, to make the point of our major freedom and major life to think about others who are handicapped special need who are sick in coma and they never go out who are blamed who are not able to walk out from home that so today we are in the same situation but different way because we are healthy so that healthy let us our brain work out fast and make agenda to our life may schedule and try to get um, like a program for our day we can hang around inside our home and make challenge for our families and take care of them. That's one of the major points. So second uh, positive side that we start learning more things. For example, me, I never use the e-commerce. Now we starting to use work e-working from home, e-learning for uh, education for children. And also we are, uh, that, that social media we was using, now we're using social distance because they say keep a distance between each other, but it's not mean keep social between each other. Today, because of you and because uh, of this beautiful work you do, you're keeping uh, a social and network and learning and you are giving us good viber and teaching us through the electronic devices it's true the, the the life is balancing to us and some of us they are maybe uh, disappointed they are depressed I say to them look at from the window when the door is closed look at from your heart that light brightening you have and think about it today a lot of economy just dropped down one shot People are not working. People closing uh, factories. Those money factories which close, it's make us breathe in the environment. The climate protection, it's start. All the bus coming from those industry and many factory make our oxygen higher and CO less drop down. That means when we see really for the environment that uh, dioxide gone, it's less, probably 30, 40%. We thinking also about hydrogen. We thinking about our property because they say to us, keeping say to us, clean your hand, wash your hand, keep distance, put a mask. I mean, you're having a good teaching properly your hygiene and improving your sanitization. You see how it's positive even if it was negative. We also we use too much technology now. There, we want a delivery with app. We want a taxi with app. Everything is changing and balancing ourselves. And we go to psychological readaptation. We adapt ourselves to this system of life. So now, not only us, the government is thinking about good knowledge for how to lead the world, how to change these platforms we was doing. Uh, maybe it's not wrong because we were thinking 
it is wrong. No, it's good for our humanity, it's good for our using and learning challenges and changing for technology. The government now is thinking more about medical issues, more about innovation in the science. Before they were thinking about astrology, new technology, how to go to the moon, how to make a uranium, how to make a bomb. Now, no. They're thinking about how to make more doctors working, nurses, laboratory, searching. So the science improvement. The people now has to make them point and to change them vision and to challenge themselves and keep that side positive. Why? Because we are the leader of the future. Because you, people like you, young, who are having a future to be ambassador of them countries, to be like Mr. Excellency Fawad said, you're the leader for your countries, you're the ambassador of your country, you have to think for what is right for the humanity. I don't want to be long, but I just want to say, keep positive, smile, change life. There is a lot of things, even there is a distance, don't make this distance cut in you from the world and from who you love. We have a long way still to go and a lot of responsibility. Corona will not stop us. Thank you very much. And I am happy to be here with you again. Thank you, all of you. Thank you very much for a nice presentation. Amazing. Really Thank you so much. much. It's uh, because of uh, His Excellency Fawad. He's the key master. He's the great trainer. I'm proud of him. Oh. <laughs> Any question, I'm ready to answer. All right. Um, concerning this, um, uh, uh, the pandemic COVID-19, it seems like um, when you come to African continent, especially in the West Africa, leaders are not being active concerning the COVID-19. Cannot hear you properly. Uh, I'm talking about the COVID-19 in West Africa. Okay, can you unmute now? Can you unmute now, buddy? Okay. okay. Unmute now. Yes. Yeah. I want to. I want to say something about this COVID-19 issue. It seems like African countries are not ready to eradicate this problem because leaders are not being proactive in handling the issue because we've seen leaders going out there to the who or IMF, IMF to take loans to cure this but day in day out numbers keep on increasing you know that the 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 this uh how do we call the health structures within africa is not that strong to to curtail this issue or the 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 scientists within the African continent are not helping to cure this. Just want to find out the lapses between this African continent and who. Are they coming together? Are who giving the, the measures that they are not following or like something like that? I'm done. Um, honestly, um, I did not get the point from the question. Africa is uh, facing a lot of problems. Yes that African people uh, need help, but I did not get the most point. Ms. Excellency Forward, can you, did you get the point no, from the question? The guy was not can you just be brave, say two words, what is the meaning of your question, please, yes. kindly. My, the meaning of my question is, is it that African leaders are not proactive? in handling this uh, COVID-19, or they are not getting the needed support from... Uh, who no, 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 how you say that? Africa is from the north to the south to the west. Africa is Algeria, Morocco, and you're going down, down, down until Nigeria, right? So it's nothing to do with... If America cannot handle that, and there are still uh, a lot of people dying, you cannot blame Africa. You got the point? China, yeah. Korea, Japan, Italy. Uh, let's see European who are having the center of the science and they have a lot of doctors, they have a lot of money and they are having sustainable economy. They are not. This disease, it's not just a simple sickness. It is uh, also the culture. It's nothing hey. to do with the government or presidency or your king or your, your ministry. It's 
that issue, which is culture. We used to be uh, locked each other. If we are having some uh, bad habits, uh, high by uh, hugging each other, and that this this uh, corona is transmitting faster. No one can be stopping it easily. The people are trying a lot to stop it by distance, social distance, by this, but there is no cure, there is no medicine until now. So if you go to China, we are 1 million, 200 million. They cannot, again, they have some other waves. And you go to America, you know the total dying in America, 2 millions, and they are not telling. Iran, all the people, France, Italy, you cannot yes. compare. Africa is a beautiful country. Africa has also capacity and capability, and they have a doctor, and they have brain, they have mining, they have money. Africa is the future, a leader for the world. It's the center of the globe. Don't minimize Africa. Africa yes. leaders, they are fighting. Now we are facing an issue special in the world. No one can compete with it until one year. You see London, all locked up. The business stop, everything crash. Today I see the the news. China the business dropped to eighty two percent. It's the first time in the world. A uh, London, my friends, they say they close again three weeks. Can you imagine what's happening in those big country states? My friends, she say we cannot go out. Even we are not uh, asking delivery anymore. We're facing a big crash in the economy and they locked out for two weeks. So don't blame Africa only. The world is struggling because of this small virus killing the humanity. This is the point why we have to change our mindset. Thank you. Can I say ah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Excellency. Thank you. Thank you. Excellency Ambassador Fouaz Ali. His Excellency Omar, His Excellency Muhammad Abizak Gulet, I'm granting you good evening. I'm going to ask you, Her Excellency Leila Wahira, what are the major characteristics of this pandemic coronavirus? In Africa, we see many symptoms. In Africa, we see a lot of people are carving. A lot of people, they are, they are not preparing for protection this COVID-19. For your experience for COVID-19, what are the major and the characteristics and symptoms of this COVID-19? Thank you. Okay. The problem with Corona is transmitting by the touch hand and breathing. We, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proud to be part of Africa. <laughs> we African and Arab and Pakistani, mostly and Indian, we used to be on committee. We used to be on family. We used to be close to each other. We don't know to eat without each other. We don't know to stay far from each other. This is one of the major why this virus is transmitting fast and quick. Uh, the things also hygienic. We are not, sorry, it's not we are not clean, but we just wash our hands, not properly, and we go. We, we're not putting the mask. We're, we're sharing everything, and we're not taking things serious, especially African, because they say, ah, in hot places, the, the, the virus will die faster. And the people, they don't believe on that. But they forgot that there is epidemic a long time. There is Ebola, there is flu, um, pig flu, uh, bird flu. flu. It was a lot, malaria. A lot of malaria was in Africa. A lot of people died with it. But because they say, ah, oh, we are African, we're strong. But our metabolism is strong, we used to. We, we can uh, survive everywhere. This is kind of culture. But even here, even in Morocco, even in Algeria, but now they're forcing them, the police and the government, by force to stay home. I see some video, it was so funny in India. They're nearly shouting to them to go in to the houses. So it's, uh, like we say, it's set mine. It's not about COVID, it's not about government, it's not about medicine, it's set mine. Our set mine is to live on comedy. When we understand what it is, the rules, how we keep this distance, how to wash and um, to be always thinking about our property. We don't take things from outside and put them in. We have to wash everything and put some chlor, detol, and 
I think it will be okay if you follow the rules and instructions and everyone can get them from Google. Mr. Google today is helping everyone. But if you need also something for education, self and skills, you have Mr. Fawad. His excellency is good at that. Thank you. <laughs>